Hey everyone, so I finally came up with the look that I wanted to do. Um, it's something I made up on the spot because I wanted to play with one of my products. So I'm going to do a tutorial on it. I have this side done and I really wanted to, the thing I wanted to play with, actually I wanted to play with two things. I wanted to play with the Too Faced palette I got and my um, Sparkling Silver NYX. Um, and there's actually something about the Too Faced palette I want to tell you that I didn't know when I bought it, which makes it that much cooler. But here's the look. Um, let me see if I can tone down this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really a light pink and a very light pink with some shading. And then I used the glitter with just some black eyeliner. And it's just like a really girly cute look and it's such a subtle pink and such a low a little amount of glitter that if you wanted to you could probably wear this out in the daytime and it would just have a little glitter glitter on your eyes without it being really overdone. Just gonna shake my head so you can see the glitter. And I just thought it was something cute. Whether it's actually practical or not, I don't know. I don't normally wear this but I thought it was cute. Sorry, I got something in my eye. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how I did this. And let me show you the Too Faced palette real quick. Um, I got the Too Faced palette in Naked Eye. Okay, now you open it. You pull this little thing and you open it. There's a magnet right here, right along here. That seals here. And this is the palette. You have Day. Oh, I'm sorry. That's there's Day Classic and Fashion, which I'll show you what those mean. This color is called In the Buff. Uh, bathing. I'm oh, sorry. Birthday suit, and then uh, pink cheeks. Then you have Pillow Talk, and Like a Virgin. We have Satin Sheets, and Unmentionables. Then you have whoop, lap dance, sorry, lap dance and stiletto. Now what we're going to be using is first we're going to be using satin sheets, then pink cheeks, then in the buff. And I really don't think I have a palette that would have these colors so I can show you a cheaper version of them. But let me see real quick. No. Um, let me see if I can find you guys some cheaper version shades. Let me see. This is an interesting video. <laughs> Watch Samantha find some shades. Um, but I want to find a cheaper version of these shades for you guys because I like the one person I t uh, showed in my last video. Her name is uh, Yellow Spring. Yellow Springs, I think, 07. Yellow Springs, but she um, can't afford. Well, I don't know. Okay, I don't want to say she can't afford, but she has to save up sometimes for um, some of the more expensive stuff. Um, she is a mom, a single mom, so props to her, and I want to make it easier for her to find stuff. Okay, be close. Make it pink cheeks. It's glittery, so which one do we have? It's glittery. Okay, that actually works really well. And, okay, so here's what I came up with. This is the e.l.f. palette that Oprah talked about. There's only $10 on the website. And in this palette, um, right there, I don't know if you can see it, that color is satin sheets. The color on this side, right here, that is, which one? That is this color, oops, right here on this palette and then um, 
this one right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, is the um, pink cheeks. That is the other one that's really close to it. And that is this second to bottom color, oops, right here. Those two colors would work for this look. It's in this $10 palette. You might be able to find those colors on um, on eyeslipsface.com. And they still might have this palette back in stock for you to buy. This palette was $10, I believe. Um, maybe a little bit more expensive now, but m not much, and it's affordable. So I would look out for this palette to find the dupe for, not dupe, but the closest I have for satin sheets and pink cheeks. And in the buff, it's just a sh uh, slightly shimmery white shadow. You could probably get away with a matte shadow um, because you are putting glitter on your eyes, so you don't want to overdo it. So um, you could do just any white shadow for that, really, um, as long as it doesn't go on too opaque. And, um, oh, I'm sitting on my phone still. Whoops. Um... So yeah, you can use those as a dupe. So let me get into the tutorial because I've been talking way too much. Um, oh, oh, I know I was going to show you the f eyes of face. The other thing I noticed was right here, you pulled out this. And you had this little display in here I didn't realize. Sorry, not eyes, eyes of face. This is my Too Faced palette. Duh. So yeah, that's my Too Faced palette. You have that there. And then up here in the top... I don't know if I can get them out. They have these cards hidden up here I didn't see. And you know how I showed you the day classic and fashion? Well, they have Too Faced, the day look on how to do it. They have the classic look on how to do it. And they have the fashion look, how to do it. And you just follow the line straight across, across and this gives you detailed instructions on these cards. So it actually comes with the palette. So honestly, that makes the palette a little bit more valuable to me, especially getting this too, because this has a sponge brush and then a little liner brush which one of the things told you to line your eyes with I think unmentionable and I was like okay that's gonna be hard well they gave you a brush to do that okay so to start the look I already primed my eyes and I'm gonna take the spongy brush as you can see right here and I'm gonna pick up uh, satin sheets and I'm just gonna pat it on my lid Now I'm going to look over here, just to make sure that I'm getting the colors to match. Shadow on this side. The problem with my lighting is I'm actually working off of a floor standing lamp, my little mirror lamp, and a computer. I don't have a lamp above me, and that would give me an even an even dis um, distribution of light. So that makes it difficult. So I got all my lid done, and then you also want to bring it down in here just a little bit. And then I'm going to use um, this brush you've seen in other video. My other, whew, there's still some product on it. This brush you've seen in some other videos. Okay, I don't. It's just an angle, angled shading brush. And I'm gonna grab the pink cheeks. You can tap it off if you want. I'm just gonna apply that all up here. And it doesn't add a whole lot of color, but it still has a pinky tone to it which looks good with the other pink. And your eye does not, this is like a frosty pink, these pinks aren't like Barbie pink, so you don't, you're not overwhelming your eyes with pink by doing this. And then just do a little bit down below as well. Cause this, these colors are really light, so it'll help open up down below, so if you don't want to use a white eyeliner on your um, waterline, these colors will help um, brighten it up. And now I'm going to take the other side of my sponge tip and grab the in the buff and just do my little highlight right here. Now as you see, that's pretty opaque and it goes on 
pretty well. So you're just gonna put that there, put a little bit right here, blend it out with your sponge applicator. It blends out pretty well and pretty easy. So I hope you guys can see that. And for up here, because um, you want to make sure you get the highlight, put it on and then take the brush you are using and just go over the bottom part of it a little bit, maybe once over it, it itself. So just go over it like that so it's not so harsh. And that's all you do for the eyeshadow. And it just gives you this really nice color. And it's just a really light color. Um, and the main focus is going to be on the um, glitter liner that I um, showed you. Let me grab one more thing. Oh, Jesus. Let me grab one more thing behind you guys. Um, oh, where did I put you? Okay, I'll use this one. Okay. Now I'm going to take my glitter liner by NYX. And I had I got this at Ulta on sale for forty percent off, and then right now I'm gonna start off by making um, a line just at the at, at my lash base. So I'm gonna look over here for this just because it is very delicate, and you want the line to be thin. You don't want it to be thick. And you will get a little bit of shiny stuff, but you want to make sure that when you dip in, you grab actual, you grab glitter on it because very easily you can just grab like the product that you're putting on your, the liquid that's surrounding the glitter, the, the, that the glitter is sitting in, that liquid will show, will go across and you'll feel it, but then you'll look and there's not that much glitter, so you want to make sure you grab the glitter. So make sure I get in here well. Okay. And then this part, you really don't want to overdo it. This is just to add a little bit of shine under your lashes. You want to add a little bit. See if I can do it in the camera. Just a little bit. Under. Honestly, what you can probably do that would work really well, so it's not overwhelming, is take... Like if this is my eye, when you go up here, just press press the brush flat against it, and that's about the width of stuff you want under your eye, just that little bit. Okay? Now to give it this little extra pop of shine here, we are just going to make a really tiny wing with the glitter. Okay, and again, I'm going to look at the mirror over here to make sure I get the wings to line up. And again, the, probably the easiest thing is to use the size of this and just press down once. Press down over and then fill it in and make the line go up on your eye. I hope you could see that with my hand. What I was doing. So now I'm just going to connect it. Okay, so I just actually added a little bit more on this side because it looked fun. 
just to match up with this side as well. So hope you can see that. Okay. So that's it for the glitter. And then you're just going to take your mascara. Do your eyelashes. And your lower lashes. And you're done. Now if this isn't perfect to this, that's fine because they're not going to see the exact point. They're just going to see a bunch of glitter because you can't line the glitter up specifically to be a perfect line. But I mean, you want it to be... Um, really close and then I curl it after because then the mascara when it starts drying holds it that way a little bit better um, even though you, it's better for your eyes to do before so yeah now if you want to take this look nighttime what I would think to do first is to put uh, mascara on your waterline. So, I'm uh, sorry, black la mascara on your waterline. Okay, and that makes it a nighttime look. You don't have to do anything else. If you wanted to make it really dramatic, you could probably extend the glitter on the sides. To make it more dramatic. That would give you this really dramatic look. But it's still something that I would see as being wearable to like at the club or something, having it that that long. And it attracts you to the eyes, which is really nice. So if it, I was doing this, I would do a very soft pink lip, even at the club at night. Um, and in the daytime as well, I would do maybe a little... Not a bold pink as in like neon bold, but like a, a pink that is still darker, like a red pink, I guess the best way to say it, like a red pink. You don't want to go pink, too pink, or like peachy pink, where it's kind of orangish, orangish, or like neon pink, but you want to go like a red pink, kind of like a mauve color, but I mean, do I have a pink like that? too pink. Let me try this color. I got a color that might work. Kind of like this one. I don't know if you can tell, but it has some shimmer in it, which might match this pretty well. But it's not like Barbie pink, and it's not like a um, hot pink. It's not orangey pink. It's... Mm. It's just a darker pink gloss. So yeah, that would be what I would do. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's my first... Um, I'm turning that light off. It's making me hot. Um, it's my first non-neutral look I've done in a while. 
and so I hope you really like it. Um, let me know if you like it or not down below. Subscribe if you haven't, and tell your friends to uh, check out my channel. If they like it, definitely want them to subscribe. Um, uh, any comments down below if you like this, any new videos you want to see. Um, let me know if you liked my other videos, whatever. Just keep in touch, and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Ooh, shaking.